Hey guys, Dying Light 2 is done. I know it's taken forever. You probably died waiting for it, but I am simultaneously working on uh, Sifu Angry Review next, and then uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and Total Warhammer 3 came out. Those are games I want to do reviews on, and Elden Ring later on in the month. There's so many freaking games. So please be patient this month, and, and if you want to support all this extra work, uh, grab some merch at the links down below, or, or hit the G Fuel link. We got 30% off code as we as we do with some of our angry reviews it goes to directly supporting the show so we could get through this month and i definitely needed some g fuel to get through so i hope you guys enjoy the video please support us and check it out joe 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 wait i think i should go first I hear there's a lot of zombies in this area, super dangerous, and I'm the only one of us that has a gun. Okay, you go, what, what is that? A gun, Joe? Duh! You no, know? No, that's not a From gun. before the apocalypse? I know how to use it, Joe! I've been training, look, you go bang! Bang! But you have to, like, wear an armor-proof, uh, bulletproof vest, because sometimes stuff leaks out of it, but you hit it really hard, you go bang! I Let me go it's first. Loaded. No, it is loaded. It's fucking loaded with power, Joe. Get behind me. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, you go by yourself. No, you're coming with me. Oh, There's God too many it. zombies. You gotta beat up all the zombies. Okay. Bang, bang! Ooh, gotta be careful. Let's go. By now, you know that me and zombie games, we don't get along. Hey Joe, you wanna play a zombie game? So honestly, you're already coming to the wrong person for a review, right? No, I don't wanna fucking play another goddamn zombie game! But what I can say is that Dying Light 2 is better than Dying Light 1, and it's not required that you play that first one to know what's happening here. Joe, you wanna play a motherfucking zombie game? Now, with so many zombie games, for me, ending up feeling generic, like the same tired tropes over and over again, that it's become my thing to dread them. Hey Joe, you wanna play a zombie game? Even companies that make zombie games know that it's gonna be an uphill battle to win me over. Hell, even the Dying Light 2 developers know that. Joe, do you want to play a zombie game? And I gotta be brutally honest with you guys always. Despite an amazingly well done parkour system that is genuinely fun to get around the city with. <laughs> Did I just leave too early? I think I left too early. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that sort of generic, tired feeling I get in many zombie games was mostly the case here too with Dying Light 2 Stay Human. And ultimately, I'm a little disappointed. It's not a bad game. Not at all. But it's not the one that I've been waiting six years for either. Ah. <laughs> Did you get you? I got it. Aww. That was just about one of the worst. Hey! Okay. I got infected trophy rare and scraps. And uh, 42 gold. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I was hoping that the zombies in Dying Light 2 would be center stage, and they really aren't. It's actually right in the title, Stay Human. Early on, you're bitten by a zombie and you start to turn, if not for inhibitors that everyone wears to keep you human. The game is more about the interpersonal relationships between the people and the factions left in the world. 
not the zombies. Shit, at some point, I just stopped bothering killing zombies altogether and felt bad for them when they got in my way because I was so overpowered. Zombie, it's a zombie. Go, go around. Three, two, one. Oh. Ah! oh my god, Joe, get away from him! Get away from the zombie! He's gonna bite you! Zombie? How crude! We prefer differently animated. And when I you don't talk? Bite anybody, especially filthy people like you. But you're dangerous! I've seen zombies eat people in the city! Look, judging an entire population by its few and most violent members is absolutely vile. Now, I don't hold you responsible for all the sins of mankind, and I expect that in turn. Okay, uh, that seems reasonable, yeah, but I didn't even... Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. So what you're trying to tell me is that you and all your other little zombie oh, but oh. I, I mean, you and all your other differently animated... Thank you. ...people are not a threat to me? And my people? That one's breath is more of a threat to both of us than my people are to you. Wait, wait a minute. Joe, that smell is you? I thought it was him! We've been on the road for weeks, I'm sorry! No wonder you wanna hang and smash everything in my way, Joe! We really need to find you some freaking toothpaste in this world! An accident! Enough of the flower! We're looking for toothpaste! Come on, Joe, let's, let's leave this nice man alone to his... Astral physics book? Yeah, it's a passion of mine. That's a good bottle of whiskey, too. Joe, come on. Let's leave this guy alone. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry. They really are completely misunderstood. Cause it's actually the humans that are the total pieces of shit here. Tell me if you've heard of that one before. I feel your pain, but this it's is wrong. Go down. You can't gamble innocent lives away just Good, to get him back. I want to kill this fucking asshole. Yeah, You're through. <laughs> Ginger Damn fuck it. almost got me killed. Ah! Why are you getting a free shot on me? Spear! I got my spear! Where's my spear? I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! Why do they always start like that? They always get a, they always get a free shot on me. Fuck you, Barney. God, I can't wait to fucking kill you. Stay down. You know, and that would be fine, but when you do it like that, you damn well better make sure that you have some good writers to pull it all off. Story, dialogue, compelling quests would need to be the key, and they would carry the whole game. I don't know, you, you know, do you remember Witcher 3, Joe? Like, every single side quest was, like, written so fucking well. That it was like a main quest and like i was interested and invested in each character's backstory none of these characters so far do i give two shits about it's like everybody's got a generic name like fucking jack and, and fucking barney hey, and fucking joe who the fuck names Joes. themselves <laughs> joe that's like the most generic fucking <laughs> name ever Unfortunately, all of those three things are the weakest aspects of Stay Human and hold it back from being top tier. Uh, not working with the... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. uh, Dad's asking if there's something radio? wrong with your radio. They do their best to up their game, like hiring on Rosario Dawson to try to carry the game's story. Got you, fucker. What? Damn it. What? Who is that? <laughs> what, because it's a woman? Uh, just kill her. Who why cares? Are you protecting her? But even her presence isn't enough to elevate it. With exciting quests such as deliver a water bottle to Steve. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Help Barney find Birdie! God, we would, it was Barney and now it's Birdie? Dude, we, Barney told us where we could find Birdie and now we're finding Birdie? Where's Birdie? Barney? 
Help a singing lady find her scarf. <laughs> Why? You were sent from above. Because we need more stamina. You already did this one and it needs more stamina? I need more stamina. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Now where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. Oh, and my favorite, a story mainline mission, retrieve Rosario Dawson's shoes. La wine. Hey, it's good to see you too. Just throws you out the building. Ah! Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. What the fuck? We're off trying to get to you. Fuck um, you. This is I'm what sorry. I had to do. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? Why are you I apologizing to her? Motherfucker came up and hit me. How can she slap? The quests and side stories are so boring. No, oh, don't. No. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. What? She's serious. You mission? get your own fucking no. pair. Is nope. The next mission? Nope. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? me? What the fuck? We're gonna go get her more shoes. What the fuck? That's the side quest. Are you quest. kidding me? Shopping for new sneakers now. Is this some kind of joke or? Do I look like I'm joking? The what? Shut up and follow me. Whoa! You just did this most badass thing. That's real. How dare you? Ah! Uh, I need to buy new shoes. Hey yo! What the fuck? <laughs> The shoe. Okay. They're filled with generically named characters telling you their entire backstories. It's extremely hard for you to care. <laughs> Me? I retire in two days. Oh man, I can't wait for it. Got a nice little plot of land picked out. Oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. There's also the compelling subplots. Who killed Lucas? You know, the guy that you never met and don't give a shit about. And of course, arguably the most interesting one, finding your sister Mia and figuring out what experiments were done to you as children. Hey, Barney, Birdie, B -B Bobo, what whatever your name uh, is. Bill. Uh, Bill. 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 Yeah, yeah, Bill. Bill. Uh, Joe told me that you might know where my sister is, oh, Mia! Well, yeah, I saw her last week. Uh, I know exactly where she oh is. Oh my god, you have no idea sister. how long, how many people I've talked to. Please, just tell me where she's at. You know, sister bring, reminds me of something. You know, before the apocalypse, there was these things yeah. called movies, and I saw one, it was no. called Sister Act. No. A uh, Whoopi Goldberg, it was hilarious. What? No. Have you ever seen Sister Act? It, no, was, it, yeah. was, it was great. Uh, and then she was on a TV show or Bar something. Bilbo. Barbara Walters Bilbo. or something. Bill, no, Bill, um, Bill, uh -huh. please. Uh, what? I, look, I just want to find my sister. Oh! Why did you punch me in a cutscene? Uh, I mean, look, it, it's... Uh, you were, like, open for it, and it reminded me of my father. I had a terrible childhood. What does that was, have to do with drunk. It? And Anything. Violent what is and, his problem? And, uh, He's talking. You know, it was, it was Are really you serious? It, it damaged my relationship with my brother. This my is just fucking stupid. Do you have a brother? Stop too? talking. Do you have a brother? Yes, I have a brother. I need to know where my sister is, though, right now. Which one? Mia. Oh, that's not the name of my sister. Oh, fucking Christ. It's bullshit. Yeah, I can't his problem. I know. It's weird. Oh, okay. Continue. Okay, well, yeah, my brother and I used to get into fights all the time, but, you know, as we grew older, we grew closer. And it was kind of nice, but then... Joe, let's fucking go! But wait, it got good! Why does no one want to talk to me? Which ultimately leads to the most poor and unsatisfactory ending ever. What? What? Are you fucking? Are you? Are you out of your mind? Text! I get a fucking text! And then fucking send it! 
six years and this is what they came up with in the story department? These generic supposed branching paths that all lead to an ending that's literally white text on a black screen. Trash! Awful! I can't help Luana escape. Oh, oh okay. What? Oh, and they both made it out alive. Oh, we don't even get a fucking piece of art. Your fucking artist couldn't even draw that fucking branching path. We get text. Man, they must have been like, oh, shit, we just got finished the game. Let's fucking go. Like, just fucking release this thing. Put some goddamn text at the fucking end. Let's go. Fucking six years for that. <sighs> it, did they just not have time to finish? Oh, oh, oh my god. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. Like... I could maybe excuse some of the bad writing and bad dialogue and bad story quests and bad side quests and boringness if they had a satisfying conclusion. But the fucking co the conclusion is even worse than I ever fucking expected. Maybe the other one's better. Maybe the other one's better. Hopefully. Sure, I guess. But nah, man. Oh, fuck. The game does have greatness, some flashes of greatness here and there. There's a mission filled with tension as you race through a section where you can't breathe. Nice. Noise. This is a good section of the game. Whew. That was intense. I like that section of the game. More of that, please. Uh. It's a shame that that's like one of two sections that I felt that tension. In a zombie apocalypse, the zombies are simply an afterthought. They aren't the stars of the show here. People like Birdie and, and Barney are. Why are you awkwardly looking at me? Tell me more. <laughs> Why, wow, he's dead. <laughs> Shouldn't we have gotten to know Birdie before? <laughs> Cause he's dead now. I don't care, I don't care about it. Uh, that's the, that is unfortunately what's been going on. Here. And by the fifth time you come up on a guy who you just barely missed saving, it gets tiresome. She's dead. That's literally what just happened in the last quest, right? We yeah. found a guy who was dying, and then they Damn. died, and then oh, there was a, and then you check. Oh, there's nothing you could have done. It's a repetition, you know. You gotta, you gotta vary things up. With weak writing and dialogue, no amount of celebrity power is going to be enough. A hundred and twenty. Uh, a hundred and. <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. Thankfully, as I said before, the parkour in this game, mwah, it's absolutely brilliant. It's fun as hell to traverse, and it needs to be since you're going to be doing so much of it in the game. There's even a hand glider where you jump from buildings and go up massive air vents. There's a fucking scorpion grapple hook. So I thought I was throwing my fucking harpoon and I threw some Molotovs. And then I realized at that moment I had done fucked up. <laughs> and without all this cool parkour stuff, I say that I would have had a really hard time wanting to even finish the game. Climbing the NVD tower was a real highlight. And I'd regularly get that feeling, you know, guys get when you're really high, you, you know. Oh my god, I got a rising feeling in my balls. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> Come to think of it, I died way more from falling and parkour than I did from zombies. Oh shit. <laughs> I was like, you're, lit. you're I just too get, far from the mattress. I get too con I didn't even see a mattress, Joe. I got too confident in my parkour abilities, and yes, I didn't what? look before I leap. Look before you Rule leap. Rule number one. It looks like Sophie's not here. <laughs> I better look what? for her. <laughs> I fell off the roof. Help me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Sophie's kicking me. <laughs> 
Don't worry, I'll save you. Oh my god, you we, we got no help. I thought I was gonna make it, I didn't make it. The promise of the branching decisions in a changing, meaningful world felt mostly bunk. And so far, I hate to say this, but most of the dialogue options, they don't fucking matter. It doesn't feel like I'm like, oh man, I'm being an asshole. Or, oh man, I'm being a good guy. You know what I mean? It's like you're just you're just clicking to click it because whether you pick this or this, he ends up saying pretty much the same thing. And I hate that. God damn it. There's only a handful of key moments that have a countdown timer that really change the characters who you will fight and later show up in an area. And really only one area kind of is either destroyed or intact. Hey, there's that, that lady. She's out here at night. <laughs> she ah! What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> fucking Lola! Do you see this shit? Why did you even fucking warn me, bitch? <laughs> God damn! Lola! Lola! She don't give a shit. What that's really about is either getting weapons to use against the zombies by going with the and supporting the peacemakers, or getting more traversal options by supporting and making good with the survivors. It's just so frustrating that there aren't even multiple save slots so that you could try different things easily. Likely done to, to hide this lackluster aspect. If you want to do it a different way, it is ridiculous that you are forced to play the entire fucking game over again. Frank, bastard, fight! You're a goddamn night runner! You promised you wouldn't leave me. Dying Light's signature nighttime danger and chase sequences are here and they're intact. They go up to level 4 intensity. But again, after a while, they serve more as an annoyance as you're trying to go from quest mission to quest mission to get to more weak, inconsequential human shit. Well, mm. who are you? Kill him. The Maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. I wish the zombies in this game were more focused on. And that's coming from me, a dude who is mostly sick of zombies in zombies games. What, what the fuck? Why would she jump on the back just to show that it can parkour? Oh shit. Son of enemies use power attacks to deal. From the top rope, zombie wrestling. If we're turning into a zombie, just let us go full zombie. Maybe let us see if there's a zombie hierarchy or a culture out there amongst these crazy areas, similar to like Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. I don't know, something new, something interesting, something different or fucking compelling, but it's not so here. Am I still a human? <laughs> Honestly, I wish I wasn't. This whole stay human thing, I mean, uh, when I when I turn into a monster. Thankfully, it's really good then that the combat is fun. <laughs> Woo! What? Motherfuckers? Ow! There's blocks, parries, light swings, heavy swings, and more special things that you can unlock via an ability tree. Upgrades to your characters come in many varieties. Health, stamina, uh, being f but stamina is far more important than health because that's about climbing, which you're going to be doing a lot. There's also those cool combat unlocks like the drop kick. That's a ton of fun to do. In fact, you won't want to stop drop kicking everyone in the fucking face. And then, oh, it guides you through it. Okay, that's pretty fucking sweet. Hey yo, stop drop kicking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to kill them. 
And I just love chopping dudes heads off and arms off in slow more or just bludgeoning their faces in in brutal ways. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love the katana, man. Don't you fucking... <laughs> We are! We are! We are! Suck on that. Blew your fucking head off. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I gotta give it to you. That's that's fucking cool, Dying Light 2. I use a bludgeon weapon, and I fucking caved his fucking head in. Like, super graphic. But I have to admit, I was hoping for more exciting weapons. But unfortunately, outside of some really cool Easter egg weapons that you can find, like the finger bang. Or the fucking force choke. There's really not that many cool ones. So yeah, I liked combat, but it's just ultimately it had no challenge for a reason that I will get to later. Kick in, motherfucker. Nice and crispy. <laughs> Extra crispy. I knew it! And then he killed you. <laughs> the bat. God Mate. damn it, I ate all their weapons disappear no instantly. <laughs> there are light RPG mechanics where you pick up and collect everything that isn't fucking nailed down in the world. I love doing that. Whoa, I put all the bees in my pocket, Joe? That's a bad idea. Yeah. Collecting salvage for currency and for various upgrades to your weapons. The issue is outside of really hoping to find honey and chamomile for health, there's not much reason to pick up the money. That The vendors never really sell anything that cool. This isn't a Dead Island type of crazy weapons cool, even though they shout that game out here. DJ? Who do you voodoo? Sounds familiar. Bitch! What? <laughs> Play it! What? Play it! Who do you That's voodoo, Dead bitch? Island, that's not Dying Light. <laughs> that's cool! Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight! Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go! Vendors seem useless other than to upgrade a few accessory plans. You'll find yourself flush with money with nothing that cool to buy, thinking that later on in the game there will be something cool. And then it ends. Are you fucking- are you- are you out of your mind? Text! I get a fucking text and then fucking send it and get with the city! I get that the devs made a choice and that it was a point to just keep guns mostly out of the game. But honestly, why? It's not like we would have had the gun for very long, especially when everything in the game degrades and breaks over time with no way to repair it. You just have to recraft it again or hope that you'll find it again or upgrade to where it degrades slower, but it's still gonna break. These days, I buy zombie games to ultimately play with my friends. Where'd you get them goggles? Don't worry about it. I want some goggles. No, That's I mean. a badass weapon, too. You're not supposed to play without me, Joe. You're going to show me up. No. <laughs> See, what happened was I found this just now. <laughs> oh. Just now I found it. Just now. It's crazy. And thankfully, Dying Light agrees and knows that it's way more fun to experience the zombie apocalypse together. So, like throwing the bad guy away from you is like a good move or something? Didn't make it. <laughs> I saw that. That's okay, I got this. <laughs> Damn it, Joe. The only problem is they forgot to do anything other than to allow up to three players to join your session. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Uh, uh. Uh.
The enemies do not scale. The bosses do not change tactics. Wait, don't hit him. He's got like 27 Please arrows in it. Stop. <laughs> stop it. There are no missions that take advantage of multiple players. There is nothing. Am I an actual little, Mia? little kid? What are you doing in my dream, Joe? You're fucking everything up. Hey, you're you are not here. here. Get behind me. Yeah. Joe. Get behind me! This is my dream! You're the one dreaming about me, that's what I'm here. What? You're dreaming about me! This is your dream! This is my dream! You stay behind exactly. me, so you don't fucking ruin my dream. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. So what ends up happening is a complete curb stomp of literally everything in the game. Two guys. They're upgrading us. <laughs> Fuck him up! I was trying to stomp, stomp him. Stomp on his fucking face! Oh no, thick boy! Oh. And that's how we mostly played. Did I play wrong by playing with friends? It's as if they promised this feature, but didn't have the time to properly build for it. It's there, we're gonna use it. And at launch, it was pretty buggy further into the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> She said over here, guys, come on. <laughs> stay, with, okay. stay right there. Stay close. Okay, over here. I, okay. I think she thinks uh. it's Hogwarts. <laughs> nice. You're mimicking her pretty well, Zero. Yeah. <laughs> I try my best to... Oh, I managed to almost do it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, d Put a quarter in between the booty cheeks. <laughs> Maybe it'll get going. Maybe I, all I assume is she would run in this direction, maybe through this door. We need her to uh, open the door. Here. Whoa! <laughs> How Magic. the fuck she did it? Where is she? I don't think I've ever played a game that the co-op somehow made the game base game worse for me. OJ should be able to do it. Here. OJ, right over here? Where'd she go? See him. Oh, there's two. I'm holding on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Did we break the game? You crashed yeah. my game. You what crashed did you do? Game. What the fuck, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> See, what happened was I was just like swinging with the wires. <laughs> I pulled the wires. <laughs> you pulled the goddamn wa game wire out of its socket. <laughs> yeah, but Armageddon had the better theme song. What the fuck? Oh shit! What'd you do? Mine works. Oh no, mine's broken. Oh wait. Oh wait. fuck! What Whoa. the fuck just happened? Wait, oh wait, wow, wait, you completed wait, the wait. mission without. What? No How did you do that, Joe? Happened. That's the quickest speed runner I've ever seen. Excuse that guy drove so fucking fast. He finished the fucking mission instantly. <laughs> as it essentially breaks the balance. It was not meant for it, especially if you're trading weapons. After having relatively bug-free single player sessions, I started to run into a ton of issues in co-op at release. Uh, oh no. Stop fucking slamming the door in our face, bitch! <laughs> what the fuck? This way, boom. <laughs> this way. <laughs> ah, my nose. I couldn't get out of the water. <laughs> you broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Rosario Dawson's a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Shuts the door and barricades the door. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, I don't think. Right, let me just get past this chase sequence completely, I think. Uh, well, yeah, it's yeah. been super buggy. She got stuck in the pole. I'm yeah. over here like we're not running into any bugs. It's been pretty uh, right. bug-free experience. And then Joe's subconscious says, they say, what? Not if I can help it. <laughs> not on my watch. And the final boss was mo one of the most hilarious clown shoe experiences I have ever had in gaming. There he is! 
God damn it. I caught. I think he's done. <laughs> Whoever wants to survive only thinks about himself. <laughs> Everyone to the middle. He's stuck on the fucking thing. He just went right through me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, what kind of aim is this? My arrows are going. Where is he? God damn it, he's right in front of me, man. I'm lost. Best boss battle ever. Where the final boss literally runs away from you into areas that you cannot access while throwing glitchy rocks and often getting straight up confused and stuck. No, he ran by us. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking. Come here. You get your ass over here right now, goddammit. You get your fucking. Right, don't you be a little bitch. Fight me like a man, Waltz. You piece of shit boss. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's it. Somebody bring their goddamn fucking Molotov cocktails over here. And I'm going to. That's our it was freaking hilarious to fight him together now that I think about it. Unfortunately. Oh, Joe, did you just die? Yeah, because I didn't see where the fuck he's coming from. What is he doing? He's dancing. <laughs> he's dancing on your dead body. What? He's like, oh, yeah. I killed OJ. He's I killed running. OJ. He's just I running. killed OJ. He's clotheslined me. He clotheslined me whenever he's running. All right, now you did. Can't. Yep. I can't die. Just stuck on the floor. I think. Oh it's my corrupt. god, the it's game deep. is falling apart. <laughs> oh shit, look at this rock! I know, I know. He threw that rock, it, it just didn't reach me. No, look at my screen. <laughs> it's still flying across the screen. Hold on. Yeah, there, there's a rock. <laughs> that the, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Where's the rock going? Oh jeez. You're a job. Okay. Ultimately, while the parkour and the single player combat are really good points of the game, I need more of a reason for this genre these days. Stories, quests, dialogue, satisfactory endings. Dying Light 2 is a repeat of Dying Light 1 with star power and a better graphics. But honestly, it's probably a little less interesting story. And because of the broken co-op, there was a real absence of danger the entire time. No real tension for me, aside from one or two segments that gave a small hope. But ultimately, face plants with that ending. Christ. It breaks my heart because I know how hard they worked and how long it took to get here. But what we have ultimately is a lackluster, boring story that feels pointless with a disappointing ending. Some below average to average at best quests and some really generic dialogue. Tons of it. All bite with awesome parkour and standard combat. Do it! Go! Nice, it worked. I like it. It falls short of what I expected after the first game and after six years of work. Sure, they may have boasted 500 hours of co to completion, and at least one player that I know personally did about 100 hours by doing all the side quests and main story, so I'm not really sure where... Where does the other 400 hours come from? Did they mean to just use it as a as an open world sandbox to parkour for the rest of our lives in? That's just not really my thing. Oh no. Gravity. It's deadlier than zombies. Every time. What That's the only doing? reason I die. It's so stupid.
I guess my hope is gonna have to be put on the DLC stories that, that are gonna somehow be more compelling. The final verdict for Dying Light 2 is sadly a 6 out of 10. That's in single player, and that's the highest I can possibly give it right now, wanting it to succeed. My actual experience is a five out of 10 in cooperative, since the experience literally breaks and is unfinished there. All right, you know what? I think we've done fucked up. Everybody's full black screen. Mm -hmm. on four Great job. Great job. I'd like the Dying Light universe to continue, and I wish it continued success. But for me, it's really going to need to innovate, bring a much better story next time I visit. Maybe loosen up and go fucking crazy with the lore. Something more than the interpersonal relationships of the humans while ignoring the zombies. It's not compelling enough. You don't have the writers yet for that. Hopefully, they'll bring it next time. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. No, no, That's no. how you use it. I've seen movies. How were you supposed to use that? You hit him really, really hard, it goes bang! I've heard it before, Joe. You know? <laughs> That's how you use the bullets. God damn it! They were shooting yourself in your bed. <laughs> I trust me, Joe. I know about these things from before the apocalypse. You hit him and you go, bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes something leaks out of it and it hurts me. But it does hurt. I don't think it's supposed to go bang. <laughs> and it was kind of nice. But then. Joe, let's fucking what? go. But wait, it got good. Friends no one want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again. And I am the one with the gun. Yeah. What? Bang! Bang! Oh shit! <laughs> it's an airsoft gun. It's completely empty. Oh. We need more tape for your hammer gun. My gun, gun hammer. Gun hammer. Fuck. Joe, Joe, Joe. I hear there's a lot of zombies in this area. <laughs> it's the, the whole wooden dowel is broken. <laughs> Gun safety, y'all. Gun safety. Okay. <laughs>